What's up helpers, I'm Hamza here from the Help Times and today our video is all about Fedora Linux operating system and how can we boot into Fedora directly from our USB drive. So it's really simple. For this you need three things. The first one is your USB stick which should be of size 2 GB or above. In my case I'm using a 16 GB drive so it doesn't matter. And the second thing you need is an ISO image file of Fedora operating system which I will show you how you can get it. The third thing is a simple 13 MB tool which we'll use to burn that image into our USB and so that we can boot from our USB. It's really simple just follow along. So the first thing after you install your USB into your computer which I have already did is open up any browser you like and just go to Google and in the search bar type Fedora 20. And the first link which will appear is what you need. Just open the link into a new tab which I already did. So on this page you have that file, the live media file for Fedora 20 which is an ISO format file which you need. Just click on download now and your download will start. I have already downloaded it and I have placed it on the desktop here. Fedora Live as you can see. So after that what you need is a USB to creator tool. For that what you need to do is come back to that page and on the right side you will see this link follow these instructions link just click on it and open it in a new tab. And here on this page this new page you will see this link that live USB creator link just right click on it and open it into a new tab and after you have opened it and if you think this will this looks a little messy I will put the direct link to these pages so here we have the thing we need live USB creator tool just click on it and your download will, download will start and this is a setup file of 13 MB just download it and install it like an usual program and well, it's really easy I've already done it so the next step is just open that installation that USB creator tool just find it where you have installed it or just go to start menu and type in live USB creator tool just click on it and it and a window will pop up like this from here what you want to do is click on browse here and just find that ISO image file you have downloaded already and just select it and here is the notification that you have selected that image file and after that what you want to do is locate that drive on this here like just what is your USB target I have just only one USB connected right now so it is showing me that G so the next step is click on this button create live USB so I've already done a little so I have to type in the second time so here it is it is extracting that image data of Fedora live image file ISO file into our USB so that we can boot directly from it so I will be back when this installation process will be completed and then we'll move to the next step so we'll see you when it's completed so now guys installation has been finished and that means our USB is ready to go and we can boot from our USB now we can take our USB anywhere just put into any computer's USB port and we can run Fedora through our USB into any computer so the next step is me will be me recording my screen and booting from the USB so I'll see you on the other side so guys I have restarted my computer and plugged in the USB that we just created and now I'm just gonna press F2 to get into the BIOS settings and I'm gonna show you the BIOS settings I have so that you can set them right like mine or similar like mine so that you have no troubles in booting to USB so I'm quickly gonna go to the boot settings and then I'm gonna make sure that USB boot is unable if it's not unable you make sure that it's unable 
and after that you just need to restart your computer and you should boot from your USB by going to your boot menu if that doesn't work you have to change the enable the UEFI mo boot mode so if that's disabled just enable it and then save the settings and press yes and now in my case I have to press F10 to get into the BIOS settings and BIOS boot settings so here I here I am I'm now I have just enabled UEFI mode and I'm just gonna boot on it and here you as you can as you guys can see I have booted into the Fedora using my USB and I've just selected that start Fedora live and it should be start running just in a minute as it's loading its file as you guys can see it's pretty quick and it's already it have already started so you can play with it now turn on the Wi-Fi check out the calendar if you want to and go into the activities or here you have all the things and here on the on that palette you have all the applications that come pre-installed in Fedora so guys have fun with all the application you can also go to utilities and there are, there's also that terminal as we guys have in windows that cmd the same thing is here you can play with the function calls and stuff and then let me just quickly connect to a wireless connection let me just quickly enter the password for it okay here we go I think guys you have got the idea you can play with it as much as you want now if this video really helped you make sure to give this video a thumbs up anyway guys thank you so much for watching and don't forget to join our family by clicking that subscribe button and connecting with us on Facebook Twitter and Google Plus you take care of yourselves and we will see you in the next video